My name is Philip Smith. I'm uh, 57 years old. I live in London. I, I lived at RAF Brampton from about 1974 to 1977. And one summer, I don't know which one it was, I don't think it was 76, might have been 77, I took this job, a separate job from the garage with this guy called Arthur Cambridge, who was basically a local man who was the estate um, sort of handyman on the base. Uh, and I was like his general dog's body, um, just carrying his equipment and so on. Uh, we worked all over the base, um, including uh, at Jarrick, the Joint Air Reconnaissance Intelligence Centre, which is a rather interesting place that was sort of sectioned off within the base. Um, and it was clearly top secret. And uh, uh, we were very much made aware of that. And indeed, everywhere we went, we had, um, well, we, while I carried his bags of tools and screws and so on, we had at least two security personnel following us everywhere, uh, which was quite, um, quite a strange feeling. You'd go into a space where there were some quite large, sort of probably they were probably enlargers, photographic enlargers, um, and a lot of um, really interesting looking photographic equipment and maps and plans and aerial photography um, on the walls and on tables. And I remember there were a large number of people sort of scrutinising those. Um, I think they were actually using things called stereoscopic pairs, which allow you to... Um, they're kind of like a, a way of looking at um, photographs so that you can actually interpret them in three dimensions. I do remember that. Um, but it was a very kind of almost, um, yeah, um, sort of clinical environment that was very, um, very much contained and separated from the rest of the base. The Cold War and the kind of potential for a nuclear holocaust was ever present in my mind and I think it was in many people's at, at that time and I I suppose my sense of the the Cold War was stronger when I went into Jarek because it was clearly um, close to it you know in that the, the, it was obvious that that's what was going on that matched with my experience of going to other bases nearby there are no aeroplanes as such at RAF Brampton but I remember going to Alconbury, to Witten, um, and other places where there were operational aircraft, which were effectively waiting to um, effectively bomb Russia at the time.